Robbie Morris has a few interesting drives at the media here at Clubman Angle on Tuesday afternoon. Unfortunately, he's had to scratch probably one of his better drives. We'll find out why shortly, but I caught up with Robbie to discuss the chances of the remaining drives. Well, Robbie, some nice drives at Clubman Angle on Tuesday afternoon. Unfortunately, you've probably had to scratch one of your better drives taking care of business. Yeah, unfortunately, he came up from the paddock this afternoon and um, he's got a foot abscess, um, so... Not a lot you can do about it, it's just one of them things with the current conditions and the, the rain and everything sits about. So would have loved to have seen him in for his connections. His trial was super promising and I think he's a horse with a bright future, but um, obviously it's only a foot abscess, so um, you know he'll bounce back out of that pretty good. So look for him in the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah, still ended up with a pretty good book of drives, so looking forward to it. Yeah, in the opening event, once again, Lucky Lodge strong with the uh, trotters. Strength of heart off the front, 20 metres back markers, Agent Marion, don't touch this. Yeah, um, the boss hasn't told me and Josh what ones we're driving yet, but I presume I'll drive Strength of Heart, um, Josh will drive, Agent Mary and Kez will drive Don't Touch This, I reckon, but um, all three trotters are ultra consistent, but 20 metres probably going to hurt the other two, especially with it being a mile. Um, Strength of Heart's drawn the front over the mile, so probably suit, suit him a bit more, so I'll be putting my hand up to drive him. Interested to get your thoughts on the chance of the second race, Kalara Shogun. Taking on older horses, two runs to date, but manners have been missing. Yeah, it's not really his manners, he's just dumb, <laughs> to put it point blank. He's, um, he doesn't, even this morning I worked him down the main track here and he was shining and everything and looking and he's just a bit of a stargaze and big bugger, but um, I think he's got plenty of potential. Uh, I think he's got a fair bit of ability. His runs at Newcastle have been good, but... It's hard on him to go to Newcastle every Friday, and there's a maiden here, so we thought we'll leave him close to the home. Drawn eight, um, you know, I won't be driving him any different to what I've been driving him. I'll just be letting him drop out and run home. Um, he's got to learn, you know, he's three, but he's got to learn the craft, and there's a couple of horses that are quite experienced underneath him, but I expect him to be, you know, on what he's done at Newcastle, um, which surprised us, to be honest. His track work or his trials never suggested that he'd do what he did, but when it comes race day, he really turns on. But I suggest from his two runs at Newcastle, I don't think it'll really matter where he sits, to be honest. He'll just sit back and hopefully blurt him for speed. He's finished second on both occasions, and last week, Robbie, he looked the best of good things beaten. Yeah, he's sort of shying at the mobile and rocking and rolling and got out of him and got back down, but he probably gave him 50 and... Then they went 56 and he got beat ahead. So um, look, all the things went his way and he was able to run up the rail. So he had all the favours, not as if he looped them. But um, yeah, he was really impressive. So hopefully he's took no ill effect out of that and he'll bounce in the Tuesday. Over to race four and with taking care of business out of the equation, I'm rocking it. Prepared by Alex Orchard will be driving it or parallel? Yeah, I'll be driving. I'm rocking it for Alex, a good friend of mine. Him and Alana are doing a super job. And um, obviously I would have been driving, taking care of business if, if he didn't get his foot abscess. But I'm lucky enough... Um, I had plenty of options in the race and, um, you know, I can pick up a drive that I personally think is just as good. I think they're both both three classy three-year-olds and, um, yeah, I think I'm rocking it's got a bright future. Draws nicely, fitted for two runs back from a spell, scored by 28 metres last time out leading. Yeah, he, um, he, we can sort of really probably scrap his first run. I slaughtered him. Um, Alex told me to. Um, yeah, it wasn't one of my prettiest drives. He sort of can do a few things wrong and... I put him in the bad spot and uh, just got messy and I sort of tried to get going too far from home and got wide and got hanging and just had to forgive that run. But he went forward and put his right foot forward at Newcastle and um, I was able to roll to the front so I couldn't stuff it up from there. <laughs> Over to race six and I'm Bill's last. Drawn gate six, racing really well, winner of his three of his past four for no doubt a delighted owner, John Green. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny's happy. Um, He's, uh, he's been a trooper, this horse, but for a horse that's had his problems and he's a bit of an issue and he's a bit of a, his head's a bit strange sometimes, but um, he's really put it together of late. He, I said to John the other day, it's going to be a little bit hard with him. We're just sort of putting our foot in the water to see how he shapes up against these up to 60s. I just don't know the way we have to drive him, if it'll suit this grade, because he sort of gets driven tough, which you can get away with him then one win races and the, those sort of races, but... In the 60, you know, you're going to have plenty that sit off you and have good speed in their legs. So, um, yeah, we'll just try and... You know, I don't really know how we'll drive him yet. I've probably got to drive him a little different to try and save a bit more for later. But, um, yeah, look, let's hope he just takes the next step. You know, we're thrilled with him. He's owned by a good family and they've been great supporters. So it's just good for him to keep turning up. And the best of them, Rob? Um, yeah, I think I've got a really good book of drives. Um, probably, probably I'm rocking it. I think from his draw, um, he'll probably be very hard to beat, but... I think Kalara Shogun's a super place, but just from the draw, he'll be back. You know, a few little things might go against him, but hopefully he can overcome them.
On such a big track, Robbie, you've had no luck in the opening two events here with Surface Delight and also Always Rockin'. No luck whatsoever. No. Um, Roy laughs at me because I always take them gaps, but normally they come, but I don't know. I must have put, them, put something on wrong today. I, I, they haven't come, but both horses have been really good. Surface Delight was terrific. Roy and Cherie and the whole team doing a super job with their horses. He was great and um, yeah, always rocking, just jogged over the line. So, um, yeah, hopefully they get a bit like, bit more luck in their trips next week. He's been very consistent, Surface Delight. He hasn't had much luck at all of late. No, he hasn't. He's sort of, it's it, probably the way we've got to drive him too. He's sort of at that stage of life where he's just got to be driven a bit cold. But um, he needs things to go his way. But I think he's a horse that the more he races here and the older he gets, the better he'll get. Speaking of cold, you look pretty well rugged up there. Yeah, I don't deal with the cold weather all that. I'm normally in Brisbane this time of year. It's a little warmer there, but um, no, we're having a good run. The team's going good, so I'll put up with the cold.